Hello, everybody. My name is Jeff Wilson. I am here in Central Park in the middle of New York City on a very kind of a dreary day here in New York City. Um, you can see the skyline of Manhattan right behind me. Um, I am here to talk to you a little bit about um, Robert Burns and Scottish culture in the United States. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of a couple places in Central Park that you might find interesting. So I am here in Literary Walk in Central Park, which is a place where many musicians and artists come. There's a musician over there playing and singing. There's a couple violinists over here. It looks like they're about to start playing. Um, and right at the base of Literary Walk is Sir Walter Scott. Hopefully you'll be able to see him um, a little bit. But right across from Sir Walter Scott is the man, the myth, the legend. Robert Burns. Hello, Robert Burns. So Robert Burns is uh, has this beautiful statue of him right at the base of Central Park in Literary Walk. And one of the things that it says on the uh, inscription about him says, Burns' genius was his poetic use of the rhythms and dialects of everyday speech, and it was his personal miss mission to revive traditional Scottish song. He traveled the country collecting tunes, airs, fragments of expressions and songs, and created so uh, songs whole, even writing words to folk tunes which had never had lyrics. He captured something of the Scottish spirit which has endured, and each generation has claimed him as, again, as its own, even as Scotland has struggled in a search for identity. He is credited with Old Lang Syne, which we sing every year in Hogmanay, in New Year's Day. Uh, and his best known poems include Scots Wahe, Tom O'Shantern, and To a Mouse. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, Robert Burns and his influence on music. Uh, that we use a lot in choral music, solo music, and interesting, the um, New York City has a, uh, something called the New York Caledonian Club, and every year it hosts a Burns Supper, Burns Dinner, and usually it's in person, but this year obviously it's going to be virtual because of our uh, pandemic, which is going on, unfortunately, but every year the uh, Caledonian Club also hosts the Tartan Day Parade, which we've gone to a couple times here in New York City. Um, last year, I had Sir Billy Connolly as its Master of Ceremonies, and it was kind of cool to see him marching in that parade. Um, they also host a lot of events throughout the year uh, to promote Scottish culture, and I've actually taken a couple classes on Keeley so I can learn how to dance and really fun time, so uh, I'm going to Say goodbye for now, but in a few minutes, I'll see you at my piano so you can hear some um, music inspired by Robert Burns and by Scotland. Well, hello there. Welcome back. Um, you are now with me at the church where I am music director in Park Ridge, New Jersey, which is about a half hour drive uh, to New York City. And Robert Burns' poetry um, and songs have inspired a lot of people in the United States, including myself. I um, actually started writing a few melodies centered on his poetry a couple of months ago. Um, one of them I'm going to play for you right now, play and sing for you. So this is his poem, Oh My Loves Like a Red Red Rose, which has been used hundreds of times in choral music um, but I wrote it uh, with my nice little melody and piano parts, and I'm going to sing it for you right now. So this is Robert Burns' Oh My Loves Like a Red Red Rose with me singing and playing my music with it. Like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love's like a melody that's sweetly played in tune.
as fair art thou, my bonny lass, so deep in love am I. And I will love thee still, my dear, till all the seas hang dry, till all the seas hang dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun. And I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands of life shall run. And fare thee will I only love, and fare thee will a while, and I will come again, my love, though it were ten thousand So that was my little rendition of Oh My Love's Like a Red, Red Rose. Totally different than others, doesn't sound Scottish at all, and that's okay because as musicians we are able to take poetry and turn it into something that means something to us. Um, and so that was my rendition of that. And if you noticed, um, if you know the po poem well, I didn't really use the Scots very well. I'm, I sound awful when I try to uh, use the Scots and I butcher it. People say, can you speak with a Scottish accent? I'm like, no, I can't. So as a musician, a lot of times, especially as an American, we Americanize things to make it a little bit easier for us and so that people understand what we're saying. So please excuse me for changing the Scots a little bit. So um, I've been to Scotland many times. I'm married to someone from Glasgow. And the first time that I went there, I was so inspired by the beauty of Scotland. And um, I think a lot of Americans have grown to love Scotland a lot through um, movies. Harry Potter really brought Scotland to the forefront. Um, Game of Thrones and all these other movies, Braveheart, all those things. So people love Scotland. And I was so inspired the first time going to Scotland, especially going up into the Highlands, that I wrote a piece called Eternal Beauty. And I'm going to play it for you on the piano, and then after this, we're going to be done for today. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this little segment of Scotland in the United States, featuring Robert Burns and Jeff Wilson, myself. So this is Eternal Beauty. Mm -hmm. 